Okay guys, so Boxing and Legends back with another tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about how to um, how to use Studio. So in the first tutorial, we talked about how to download Roblox Player and Studio to your computer. Now we'll talk about how to use Studio a little bit. So in order to open Studio for, for the Windows 11 users, you just gotta go to Start, search for Roblox Studio and then open it that way. Or you could use the website by going to roblox.com, your homepage there, and then create, and then create a new, like, template or something like that. So basically, I'm in the studio homepage, and yeah, let's start. So as you see first, we have a bunch of options we could choose from, a bunch of templates. So for this tutorial, we'll talk about the classic base plate. So we'll select that. But after this video, feel free to explore the others too, if you want. So when you, when you um click classic classic base plate, you should be here. Well, for the new users, you should be here. I don't think you should have the explore and property open when you're in, when it's like your first time using Studio. And I'll show how to open it in the future of this video. So basically, the first things you gotta know is how to move your Studio around, like like the map so you could use the W key to go forward um the A to go back I mean the S to go back so W forward S back then A you go left D you go right and also you could use the Q key to go down and the E to go up and also you could use the mouse to help to change the camera view instead of using this so in order to use the mouse, you just gotta hit the right click and then drag your mouse wherever you want you want it. So this makes it easier to like look at stuff in in your studio and yeah. Now let's talk about this window a bit. So as you see, we got the select, move, scale, and rotate here. That's used when you have a part. So let's say I want to create a part. So in order to create a part, you have to go to insert right here on your home and then click you can select whatever you want so I'm gonna select a spear and you could also change the color and material too of it and there's like many options that you could choose from I guess I'll select um crack la lava I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna turn this off and you can also change the color if you want but I'll leave it the way it is or well, actually I'll change it red yeah I think this looks nice so this is our ball and we could use select to move it wherever you want you could also use the move to move it wherever you want so you could use select and move to move it wherever you want but sometimes select is easier but sometimes move is more precise if you want to move stuff scale makes an object bigger and small bigger or smaller so I could make the ball big like this and rotate it basically it changes the position and stuff like I could do it like here and yeah we could put it like here and also note that the arrow wherever it's pointing is where it will go when you select it and drag it and you could also do it the reverse too if you like and yeah this is basically our ball now let's check the other features UI will go over in the future lesson because that's kind of advanced for now and we also got the toolbox here <clears throat> the toolbox if we click it we could add our own models actually so this is a skybox we'll talk about skybox more in the future video but if you click it it basically changes the sky but in the future I'll show how to change the skybox to whatever you want like you could make your own we also got many other things you could add like um, HD admin so I'm gonna hit OK and you can also ask, add a base plate and many other things so let's say this is our map and this is all I'm gonna go for now on studio in the future I'll cover future in the future I'll cover like more features on studio so let's say this is how it is right now let's hit play And then as you see the ball falls, I'll explain why in a second. 
and also we got the HD admin here from the free model and we also got this ceiling light which is on the floor and I don't know why I put it so this is our ball it's supposed to be I don't know a soccer ball but this is how it is I don't know oh you could push it that's nice and yeah now the reason why the ball is up here this is the last thing I'm going to cover on the menu for today is because it's not anchored when it's anchored it's going to stay up there forever but if not it's going to like fall and you can move it around so if I set it anchored which I did right now and I hit play it will be there stuck on like air that's some nice logic for a ball okay oh and in addition you could also turn on the explorer and property windows in order to do this you got to go to view and then just hit explore and properties and it will be on in the future though i'll show more about this feature right, so this is the end of the tutorial hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like and subscribe and consider turning on notifications so you know when the next tutorial will be and i'll see you in the next video bye guys